ึ้นนะครับ What's up everyone Welcome to my second daily vlog If you enjoy this video please subscribe and like and comment what you think about it uh, I'm looking to improve Here we go Yeah, I can't really throw this one. My dad would kill me. It's a knife in a box. Not sponsored. Oops. And I almost forgot the onion that we're gonna need as well. Not that organized right now. It's kind of messy in here, but whatever. Yeah, so it's kind of boring in here. Time to take the chicken out and wash it. Actually, I should probably wash my hands first. Yep, definitely. I'll cut up. I like to always add a little bit of a glaze to it. It's time to eat. Well, I dropped the uh, fork. It's hot. It's definitely hot. Hello? Moises? Probably do that tomorrow morning. All right, well, hopefully they'll have time to deliver it. Didn't you say they would dump it right off the street? Let me, um, I'll text you in a little bit, all right? Okay. Bye. We have a big uh, loom job coming up, running 40 yards of loom at a client's house for my uh, landscaping business. <laughs> this guy always works out at the zoo, and I need to meet him. I got this Bang Energy. I've had this flavor before, but um, it's got sucralose in it, so it's not really good for you, but I'm wondering if I should drink it now. Just went everywhere. This stuff's good. That's a different can. I'm gonna grab my bag with my camera in it. Oh, and I got some groceries too. This little guy's injured and I don't know how to help him. Okay. Sometimes we don't feel like doing workouts at all. And that's when it's important to do the workout. Even if it's quick and light, something's better than nothing.
printing out all the paperwork <coughs> for my property that I have to review later with my dad. Nothing too exciting, just printing it all out. Here we were just working on paperwork uh, for the property to get it done, basically going through all the numbers and everything. And uh, yeah. So today I want to talk about limiting beliefs. So limiting beliefs are the things that we tell ourselves that we can't do. So you'll find yourself saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, um, which is pretty much always not true. Did I say that right? Pretty much, pretty much always not true, right, yeah. We can do anything we put our mind to. So when we say we can't do something, we're only lying to ourselves. There are plenty of people that have been in difficult cir there are plenty of people that have been in difficult circumstances but haven't let that hold them back. Um, everybody has a different story, everybody, and which is why YouTube is such a big thing and so many YouTubers have so many different styles is because they have a different story and they probably tell it a different way than the other two YouTubers who has the same amount of subscribers had. The thing is, we all have a story to tell and we all tell ourselves a story, right? So I can tell myself, sure, I'm lazy, I don't get things done, but is that the truth? Is that who I want to be? If I tell myself that I can do whatever I put my mind to and I can get out, go out and get things done, that is a strong story. That's the true story. That's who I want to be. I'm not going to lie to myself and change my thought process because other people say things about me or maybe I just have this limiting belief based off of what I feel about myself. So limiting beliefs, I'll give you some examples of some of the limiting beliefs that I've had in my life. Uh, for a long time, I believed that I couldn't talk to people. I was really nervous um, when talking to people, and that was a lie. Anyone, and I say, and I really mean anyone, can learn to talk to people, can learn to speak in front of tons of people. Not everyone's meant for it, but anyone can learn how to do it. It's just about putting yourself out of your comfort zone, and that's with anything. So like a limiting belief that I also had was that I didn't know what I was doing with landscaping, and at the time, I didn't but I learned how to, I studied videos. YouTube's really a place you can learn. There's so much you can learn on YouTube, and to say that you can't do something is just simply a lie. The technology we have is so advanced. It literally can allow us to do anything we want. Um, you don't even have to go to college these days. They have college online. Now, personally, that would be difficult because everything's online and I'd get super distracted, but you can do anything online. You can learn anything online. And, and you, another limiting belief, was that I couldn't read. Not that I like couldn't read, but that I didn't have the attention span or the desire to read. That was a lie. I had to find out another way. So how do I read now? I listen to audiobooks. Now, some people may say that's different, right? But reality, re re reality, reality uh, audiobooks are very similar to regular books. And if you're always in the move and if you struggle just sitting down, but you can, you're good at taking things in in the background, audio perfects Audio books are a perfect solution. You, you know what I mean? I don't like, I really don't like sitting down. The only thing I sit down to read is the Bible because that's important to me. I read the Bible once a day and then I listen to audio, you know, books every day. Or, you know, podcasts. Podcasts are a huge tool to um, enhance your learning. So, you know, if you get bored reading a book, try, try audio books, try podcasts. Find them in things that you want to get better in yourself. Like I, I personally want to get better at real estate, YouTube. Um, I want to get better at just being better me. So I listen to uh, Rod Cleef. He's a real estate millionaire who lost everything and got it all back after the uh, 2008 crash. And he talks about limiting beliefs more than anyone. So you could listen to his podcast. Um, for YouTubers, um, I listen to YouTube Creators Hub and I have learned so much from it. I watch so many different people on YouTube. Uh, people like, uh, let me think here for a second, uh, Nick Nimmons, uh, just anyone who, anybody who knows the tools, he's more like tutorials per se, and then I listen to other vloggers and I study their styles. So like anything you wanna learn, there are so many ways to learn it, like a ridiculous amount of ways. You know, in the past, 
people had excuses and they made more sense of why they didn't know how to do something. Even then it wasn't, you know, you, anybody could learn how to do anything. It's just desire and, uh, and everything. But like now, we have so many tools and there's so many more things than YouTube. There's forums, there's videos, there's podcasts. I mean, there's literally everything you could ever need to do whatever you want. Like you are literally, you can literally do whatever you want with your life. So to say that you can't do something is a stupid lie. Be done with it. Stop saying that you can't do something. Get up, learn how to do it and get it done. Because honestly, it feels so much better going after what you want in life than it, than it does just giving up. Or just another thing too is people change what they want to do in their life because it's too difficult. Oh, well, you know, I, I want to become a bodybuilder. So they, you know, they want to become a pro bodybuilder. This is just an example. So they bring it down and they say, well, I don't have to be a pro, but I, I can just get in really good shape. No, if you if don't give up on the pro bodybuilding just because it's tough, you know, go after it. Personally, I don't want to be a pro bodybuilder. I just want to be in shape and healthy, so I would never get that dedicated. But you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, um, a big thing that I had. Now, there's another thing too, right? So, for when I was young, I snowboarded forever, and and then I got into skiing, right? Skiing, you know, snowboarding was a passion, but when I got into skiing, like, good lord, I I loved freestyle skiing I got into it so quickly and I, I got really good for you know me at the time from my perspective I got really good for the time I was getting into flips and stuff and then boom I broke my collarbone not once but twice some of that was stupidity but it made me think for a second right was going pro meant for me and and through prayer through talking to God through just everything you know what people said talking to my parents going being a pro skier wasn't for me there was too much risk involved you know people were dying from it people die all the time from it um, I went to all the time but people get seriously hurt paralyzed you just got to find these stories but it, you know this might not be something that should have held me back but just based off of my reflection and stuff it wasn't meant for me to be a pro skier so after you know getting all that to, all my thoughts together I said let me just have fun with this so that's what I do with skiing now um, I just have fun with it so you know I could have I could have said you know I could have got down on myself because it wasn't meant to be and stuff, but that that wasn't the truth. So let's think, what's some other huge limiting beliefs that kind of encompass everyone? So I'm not just talking about myself with examples. A lot of people believe that they can never conquer their dreams. Stop lying to yourself, seriously. Uh, this is something that irritates me because it's like, you know, we have so many negative things around us that people tell us, you know, when people can't accomplish something themselves, they'll put you down because they don't want to see you succeed. Now they're not like, oh, I don't want to see you succeed. They're like, I can't do it myself. It'll make me feel down if you go after your dreams and you accomplish them. So let me just bring you down to my level. You can't listen to that. Do you know what I mean? You, you can't, just because they don't believe they can do it, you can't let their negativity uh, change your dreams. So what you need to do is you need to get away from those people, honestly. And and if you do have friends like that that you don't want to let go, you need to limit your time. And you need to find people that want with you what you want. People that believe that, you know, we can get whatever we want in life. Um, you also need to find people that are going through the struggle with you, but also have a positive outlook. Do you know what I mean? When you, you know, surround yourself with people that are, you know, doing the best they can, they're, you know, really going after what they want, what you want in your life, that's very important. Those are the people that you should spend the most amount of time with. But I think it's important too to spend time with people who are working towards that and also have the same ambitions as you. You know, they don't have to be exactly the same, but you know, they too are working for that next level of life to accomplish all things that they want to. Because sometimes when you're working with only people that are so far ahead of you, it's kind of hard to see how you could, you know, how you could get to that point. Um, but that's why it's like an in-between an in-between person and then like the person who's already got it and working towards it even more you connect the dots and you say you know what I can do this you know what I mean you start believing in yourself and you stop saying those stupid limiting beliefs so yeah <laughs>